Welcome everybody, episode 6 from Relic Helmets Cleaning and Preservation. Today we're going to electrolyze. I've got some of the materials here with me. We've got a car battery charger. We have some soda, plastic bucket. We've got some clean metal and water. With those materials we can make a really nice funny mix. Before we're going to start the show, I want to welcome a very special guest today, Kuhn. Today, Kuhn is going to help us with uh, the Electrolyse project. He's got a bit more experience with it than we do. I'm happy I can finally say cheers to a guest. Cheers, Kuhn. Vlach in the camera. Before we get started, I want to ask you one question. It's a question that I'm going to ask a lot in the future in our videos, and that is, how did you start collecting World War II materials? No, I was uh, collected when I was uh, very young. I go to my uh, my special uncle. He collected uh, a lot of American uh, vehicles. He make it from old stuff to new, like renovation. Yeah, yeah, yeah all the restoring. Stuff. And uh, he make it uh, the the Sherman tank, the first uh, one, and the Benelux. Okay, they, they drive. On the you didn't have told me that before, that's pretty cool. Yes, and uh, you have the duck and willy jeeps and half trucks and everything. And when we are young, we go uh, uh, sometimes in the weekend with uh, the Santa Fe Club. This, when I was older, I like more to the German stuff. It was more special, uh, all American stuff, it was all everywhere. And the German stuff, it was more special. My story to collect the World War II stuff. Well, thank you for sharing in your broken English. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> and don't worry, we will add some subtitles so you can follow the process and you can start electrolyze your own relics and helmets. Today we're going to do a helmet, but we're also going to do a part of a Sherman track. As I just heard that in the past you've been busy with Sherman parts. Yeah. So that would be a very nice addition. So yeah, for now, uh, I think for the 10th time, we go, uh, I say cheers to the workshop. <laughs> we go to the workshop. <laughs> Up here, we have uh, all the materials ready. Kuhn, yeah. tell us a bit about what we have to do and okay. about the materials. Now we have here uh, a bag of water. We put some uh, soda in it. We mang it a little bit, but when you feel it, it must feel it like a woman when you put your fingers in a little bit like a woman and then we put uh, the material on the yeah on the kick okay, we have red one and on the black one and the black one no cut we put this one we put it on the steel on the and we put the red one the plus we put it on the material I have it here on my back. It's <laughs> yeah. black in the back. And when you do it wrong, uh, you have no clam anymore on the end. And yeah, you can buy a new one. This is no good. Here it shows the correct setup for electrolyse. So black, the minus goes on the item you want to clean. Very important, black one on here, the red one inside. On the material we have yes. to clean. So you want to be sure you connect it to clean metal, to also on the sub subject that you want to clean. Only on clean metal you can make it clean. And you very put it, the clam on the rust, it's not working correctly. Not working. So the, the places where you connect the pins, this should good. be as much clean as possible. That yes. way you have a very good transfer of the electricity. Yes. I believe the machine Kuhn has here, you can really change your settings about it. The ones I have up here, this is a very basic one. You just have the option 12 volts, 24. So basic, maximum power. We'll still have to find out which one of these still works because with Electrolyse projects in the past, we destroyed a couple. 
So, are we really pretty much ready? Yes. We can put them on. So, what Kuhn has done, he has connected the black wire to the bare steel metal. The bucket is filled with water and soda, plus minus 250 grams. We hanged up the helmet on a piece of rebar, so that the helmet is free from the ground within the box. As you know from other episodes, uh, security is really important. So I have my own rule for that. If, uh, if there are dangerous actions to do with electrics or other materials that I'm not an expert with, I always let somebody else do it because you have to think about your own safety and if somebody else get hurt, that's less worse than for your own. So Kuhn, uh, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna take uh, some distance. Now we're gonna start it. No problem. Everything is white. I put him here. Sanka, you dead? Yeah, man. So we were having a little bit of troubles with the electrics. From scratch, we're gonna build our own electrolyze project. We've got old rebar here, which is uh, totally clean steel. These are still a bit too long. So we're going to cut them a little bit. Safety glasses, very important. I'm not sure if that can do it. But <laughs> so we have the Sherman track. We're going to grind it down a bit so that uh, our connection pieces will have a good connection. As you can see now, we have some bare metal and that's exactly what we need to connect our pins to. Also these four we want to connect them with electric wires so that the current will be going around. Alright so our setup is pretty much ready. So last part at the soda. Put in roughly 200 grams. So yeah, let's plug it in. Let's see what it does. So far, uh, not much action on this one. I can tell you that. It's my one. It makes noise, but we do have a result, as you can see. Not perfectly fine, and that's probably has something to do with the connections. Well, Kuhn, uh, through this way, thanks a lot for uh, helping us out. You too, Bas. Come with the next uh, conference. <laughs> and we see you there. <laughs> All right, we're back at the Electrolyze project. We had the material in for some hours. We went back to check on it to see if it worked. It did not work at all. Everything went wrong. <laughs> So what happened is, we had the connector connected to the track. But when you do it wrong, uh, you have no clamp anymore. So we have to put a new connector on. We got one here. Thank you Kuhn for the spare one. If it's not connected in a good way, it will not work and it will give a lot of problems. Just as we had now, that's the, uh, the annoying thing from Electrolyze, I can honestly say. So, after finding out the small mistake, which is no troubles, as Bob Ross would say, from small mistakes, we'll make a nice flower out of it. So, reconnect uh, the clip or clamp, how you call it. And on our old setup, time to grind down uh, the metal bars a lot better so that we will have a better connection to our copper wire that we will wind around it because the setup was not working so it needed a bit of adjustment so hopefully this time 
we can get it working straight ahead and we can finally show you a result at the end of this video. And now I can finally say it's working. So all this time this one was working the other way around. And if you go to the box now you will see a big difference. First of all you don't see a lot of bubbles at the bare metal spot anymore. That has changed. All the bubbles are now indeed focused around the material we want to clean. Also a bit on the clip. We first were worried about that. But the reason for that is before we had a reverse electrolyse on it. So the clip got dirty. And the bubbles you see now on the clip is simply the clip being cleaned from the old rust and metal it attracted. Also you will see a lot of this dirt here form, like the green, green smudge, black smudge. So finally both setups working, it took a bit of uh, puzzling with this one. But uh, yeah the helmet is running better than ever. Oh. Now this machine uh, starts to mumble a bit, makes noise. I said this is a different one than I use. Apparently I need to turn some buttons so that we will have a green light again as it shows now. And it's uh, starting to run better. Needed to acclimatize a bit. We also see at the point of the clip we see less bubbles now. That means the clip is finally clean again after the mistake we made before. So, um, yeah, it's finally uh, finally running like we want. Because we want to have a clean track by the end of the day. Else I'm going to be really grumpy after all the work we put in there. <laughs> but the helmet for sure is looking, uh, looking to go really great. And uh, I think this one also finally, uh, finally runs in the, the correct setup. So, yeah. Patience, wait, and we'll be back. And uh, I do think uh, we see a specific difference on it. Just click it on here. It's a lot more blacker. And also if I rub it, see all the black. So, uh, it's working better than last time, I can honestly say that. So we're also going to give it a brush. I can do this with a metal brush as there's no paint on the helmet left. If you have paint you don't want to do it because you will dev definitely damage the paint. This is just to help the process. The more rust is gone the better. And uh, we're going to put it back in, the place where we connect it, we will connect it again. Again, make sure the helmet doesn't touch the, the rebar or the pieces of metal you have in there. Because then the process will definitely stop. Plug it in again. And then uh, hopefully we're going to see bubbles again. Do we uh, have an amperaggio? Yeah. Great. How much? Uh, three, I think. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Happy with that. And as you can see, nice bubbling all around the helmet again. So that means uh, we have a work in process. And uh, yeah, we let it in again. <coughs> Check back uh, in a bit. See if everything still runs correctly. Right now you can clearly see the, uh, the orange smudge here. Of 
coarse orange, you could say uh, rust color. Same with the bucket here. Before this one did not produce this, this smudge. So that's really a sign of a uh, work in process. So take them out and see what the result is so far. And uh, yeah, I can see uh, this, uh, this works. You can really see the difference. Again, if I go over it with my hand, I'm pretty much uh, scraping uh, off all the rust. So uh, we'll give it a rough, rough cleaning. Starting to look like it. Must say it's still not, not completely clean. But on many spots from the helmet you can clearly see it uh, went straight to the bare metal. And also you can really see that it starts to turn black. Which is uh, very common with Electrolyse. So that's, uh, that's a way for you to uh, identify pieces when you come across them if you have been clean or not with Electrolyse. And, uh, the same with this is with uh, cleaning the other helmets. The more attention you put to it, uh, the better the result is. So clearly see the difference. There's definitely still some spots of rust. So simply uh, put it in longer. It's that simple. The longer you put it in, the, the cleaner it gets. And I'm gonna have a look at the rebar. So you clearly see the difference. And then this is started to be eaten away slowly. If I do a couple of projects with it, this whole piece will be gone. So that one will be ready again, and now uh, the Sherman track. Yes, now now I really see a difference. <laughs> of course, the last time we made a small mistake, so it didn't really work. And uh, see, I can just push. I can pretty much scrape it off by hand now. Of course, we're still gonna use tools. So yeah, some endless cleaning. And uh, we will show you one time more the correct image on how to install your Electrolyse project. Here it is. Take a good look. The good thing about Electrolyse is um, it gets to all spots of the material. So even like between here, between the connections of the steel, everywhere it will uh, destroy the rust. With hand and such items, it's pretty much impossible to completely clean it with rust. Therefore, Electrolyse is a very good solution. Still got a couple of uh, big punted tracks uh, in the back and um, I'll be working on them soon in the future and uh, I'll make a nice video on this. Bubbles is key. And uh, the helmet is running too again. Nicely bubbling all around. You almost see the, the dirt coming off it. I really like this, uh, this way of uh, cleaning. It's a lot of work, but once you have made your setup, then it uh, becomes a real a lot easier. And uh, eventually, that's our goal to have a big relic uh, cleaning. Uh, how do you call it? Work workplace. What's it, Joe? Help me out. Station. Workstation. Oh, that sounds fancy. Relic cleaning workstation. Whether you want to use electrolyse or not, 
uh, a set. You can use it on everything. It's not just for helmets. It's for all metal that you can find. A set with big chunks of Panzer tracks all connected to each other. They're really hard to separate. Uh, we even bought a large sledgehammer. The piece is like this big. It didn't even have the power to get uh, the track pins out. Yeah, I noticed that too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> track pins, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, even after spraying them with VD40 for a very long time, nothing, not a centimeter movement. So the only option we have left is to electrolyze them, because that way all the small holes <laughs> get uh, cleaned you need to maintain uh, certain things right good so finally the last cleaning on the helmet uh, this was the last uh, triad we did after this we will uh, dry the helmet and preserve it because we were uh, happy with the result the helmet itself uh, was not very rusty, unlike uh, the track that we did. But we wanted to electrolyze a helmet to be a part of the project and uh, to show you what it can do on a helmet. I did notice my video camera uh, has had some troubles with recording this. So uh, excuse me for the quality of this uh, the shot I took here. But it's clear you can see uh, all the rust is gone the helmet is cleaned up to the bare metal uh, so it's definitely ready to uh, to be preserved and uh, in our next series uh, on preserving we will show you this helmet after it's preserved now the sherman track connector yeah for me the most exciting part as it had the, the most rust and it can give uh, very clear result as I touch it I really literally got pieces of rust in my hand just it's pretty funny it feels a bit warm the, the track connector I think I can uh, get some decent chunks off it after this electrolyze I could really just chop off the rust very easily uh, I was very, very, very happy with the result I got out of this. So yeah, the track connector, uh, it just literally fell off and it's great. Yeah, I never realized how excited I can be about rust. <laughs> so yes, this, uh, this track connector definitely was rusty. And as you can see, it has cleared up a big time. I could just wipe the chunks of rust off it uh, after the final good working setup we made. Of course, you can still do this a lot better. You can give it a lot more attention, put them in longer, give it some better cleaning time. That's all up for you to decide uh, what you want to do with it and how much time you want to put in the item. We hope you enjoyed this episode on Electrolyze. If you have any questions or remarks, please drop them in the comments or specific materials that you use for cleaning and preserve it. Please share it with us and we might make an episode about it. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching for now. Have a good one.